Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage logos in the VP Residence team. You will learn how to upload your own logo, how to add Retina logos and how to change the logo size. Once you imported a demo, you will see the demo logos and to replace the demo ones with your own, you will need to upload your logos in Team Options. All logos can be managed from Team Options. So the first step is to go to VP Residence Options, go to Logos and Favicon, and here you will be able to upload your logos. I will start with the first logo, which is the main one that will show on all pages. You will need to press the Upload button. I will upload a logo that was saved in my device, so I will press Upload Files select files. I will upload different logos for each section so you can see the difference between them. So I will select the first logo. I will press select and save my changes. And on front end this logo will show for all pages. This is an example. For the next option you will have your sticky header logo. I will upload an image for this as well. I will select it from my device. I will save the changes made. And now on front end, I will see this logo on any page on the sticky header. I will go back to Team Options. Next, you will have the option to upload a logo for transparent headers. I will upload an image here as well. I will save the changes made and on front end this will be the logo on transparent headers. We will go back to team options. Now I have the option to upload a logo for mobile. I will select it from my device as well. I will save changes. On front end I will use a simulator to show how the new logo is displayed on mobile. Going back to Team Options, the next option is to upload a logo for the print page. I will upload the image. And save changes. I will go to a property page and on the print page you will see the logo that I just uploaded. For all these logos that I just uploaded you will need to create Retina logos and upload them in your site. The next step is to show how to create the Retina logos. So this is the folder where I saved my logos in my device and to create Retina logos I will need to create copies for each logo and change their names. I will show the quick way to do this, I will copy the main logo, I will paste it and change name. This is the first Retina logo. You will also need to create 3x and 4x. I will do the same. I will paste the logo, I will rename it. And I will do the same steps again for the 4x Retina logo. Once you are done creating the Retina logo's variation, you will need to go back to the site and all the Retina logos need to be uploaded in Media. So I will go to Media, I will press Add New, and I will select the files that I just created. I will upload them in my site. And now I have created Retina logos for the main logo in my site. Next, I will need to do the same for the rest of the logos. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will do this off the record. I created all Retina logos. Now I will need to upload them in media. So I will go back to my site. I will select files. For main logo I already added the retina ones and now I will select the ones for mobile, for print, for sticky header and for transparent header.
Adding Retina logos is important for site speed, as Retina devices as Max will look for Retina logos, and if they will not be found, many queries will be generated to database, and your site will become slow. I added all Retina logos. This is the process for logo upload going to front end. You will see that you now have all logos, logo for transparent header, for sticky header, for mobile, for non-sticky header, and for the print page. The next option available in Team Options for logos is to manage the logo size. I will go back to Team Options and here you will have options to add the maximum height for the logo, the maximum width for the logo and the margin top for logo. Here you will need to add values and based on the values that you added, the logo size will change. I will add to big values so you can see the difference. You will need to add only the number. I will save the changes made. I will go on front end and refresh the page. You can see now that the logo size was changed and also by added a number for margin top, the logo position will be moved on the page. I will also refresh the page. You can see now the logo is displayed a bit lower. You can add the values that you need for these sections and manage the logo size easily. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.